Hello, how's it going? My name is Lynn and I'm a third year international student in the Management Economics and Finance program at the University of Guelph. And today's video is actually about my specific program here at Guelph. I've been getting a lot of requests for me to talk about what that's like, a uh, comparison between the management focus or the finance focus. Um, so this is what that video is. So the first thing I'll say is that I got into the Management Economics and Finance program because I wanted to be a personal financial advisor when I got done with school. I had done a lot of job shadowing when I was in high school and I went and I shadowed an accountant, I shadowed a personal financial advisor, I shadowed a bank teller, I think I also shadowed a corporate loans advisor, um, but eventually I just fell in love with the idea of becoming a personal financial advisor because that works a lot with people, helps them achieve their financial goals. Um, that's something that I actually do a lot of now, not financial goals, but academic goals because I'm the cluster leader uh, for the commerce cluster here. And so, you know, I'm very passionate about helping people achieve their goals no matter what they are. And I thought that that career was a really good fit for me. Now, in all honesty, the person that I job shadowed, he had a history major. He didn't major in finance at all. Um, because the way that you become a financial advisor is that you have to take a quick like six month course and then pass an exam, like a bar exam, like the like a lawyer would have to do or like a medical bar exam, things like that. And um, I think that you do have to keep re-upping that bar every couple of years so that everyone in the business knows that like there's like a standard of when you go to a financial advisor, this is the things that they know how to do. And so when you go from one place to another, there's not this huge discrepancy on the, the care that you were able to get between those two places. So really, I could have majored in anything, and I was seriously considering majoring in music performance. I probably would not have come to Guelph if I did that, um, because Guelph is not a huge performance school. And, you know, I've played the French horn for 12 years. I'm really um, interested in composition. Maybe you've watched some of my music that's on this channel. But, you know, in, in the end, I decided that I would go with something more practical and music can always be a hobby. And so instead of majoring in something else, I decided to go for business because I had no background in business. Um, both of my parents are not really big business people. Like my mom's a teacher and my dad works in machine tool and die. So, you know, they've got business sense, but in general, you know, I felt like I needed more background, which is why I chose to do a business major in the first place. And then as for why I specifically chose management economics and finance, um, it just seemed at the time like the best choice out of all the options. I could have come in undefined, lots of people do that, but you know, that's just putting off a decision. You can only be undefined, I think for one, maybe two years. So I thought that it would be better to just start in a major, have a specific direction. And if I didn't like it, I was, I was always able to transfer into something else. And it really is super easy to transfer into another major at Guelph, especially if you're not in the co-op program. I'm personally not in the co-op program. Um, and so for me, if I wanted to switch majors, it would just be a couple of emails back and forth with the program counselors, as well as the advisors of the programs that I was switching out of and switching into. So um, like, you know, there's a lot of similar overlapping courses between say accounting and management economics and finance. So if I had decided to switch in year two or something like that, it would have been a very easy switch. And some of the courses that I took for management economics and finance would have been counted for electives. And some that I have already taken for accounting would have counted more into my major specific courses. And I will try to link below the place where you can look at the different majors and the different course requirements. Um, I will say that it is different every single year. So for me, I always look at the 2019-2020 schedule because that's the first school year that I was at Guelph. But I'll be linking below the most updated one because I think that's more useful to you. Um, so, you know, you can see and compare the different courses that are in um, the major that you're signing up for. Because in all reality, a lot of the time it doesn't matter what your specific major was. You're already in commerce. You are taking a lot of the same courses. So unless there's one specific reason that you're taking, you know, real estate over hospitality and tourism management, I really think that the degrees are pretty interchangeable for all intents and purposes once you get out of university. It sort of just makes you feel good to say, you know, I'm in management economics and finance. <laughs> and uh, to have that written on your diploma when you get that but you know you get a lot of the same business information no matter what degree you're in here at Guelph as long as you're under that 
BCOM, um, Batteries of Commerce, you know, denomination. Next, moving into more of the nitty gritty of the specific courses that I've taken. I have taken a couple of math courses. I'm not really good at math. Um, so in first year, you have the option to take either business math or calculus, and I took business math. It's basically a review of high school, like your senior year, 12th grade math. So um, I thought that it was pretty easy. I ended up getting like an 80 something in the course, uh, which is on par with all of my other grades. Um, I also took uh, Management 1000 in my very first semester, which I have a whole video on the culminating project of that course. That's the intro to business course. So like every single business major takes that course. And my first semester, I also took, oh, I can't even remember now, it's been so long. I think I took accounting and, oh, microeconomics. How can I forget? Um, you will know if you come to the University of Guelph and do a BCom major that economics is going to be your least favorite class. <laughs> Uh, it's just a really hard class and that's the class that everyone says is like the weeding course It'll weed out the people that aren't really here for business. They're just here to party uh, I don't find that to be true <laughs> You can't retake courses and a lot of the people that I know are just here to party still pass the course because College students always find a way <laughs> But anyway, that was my first semester. It was only four classes um, and that's because that Management 1000 Intro to Business course is worth a whole credit instead of a half a credit. And you're only allowed to take 2.5 credits per semester, unless you're getting special permission to overload or something like that. Um, but I thought that it was a pretty easy first semester. I had a lot of fun in a lot of my courses. That's when I found that I liked accounting uh, and that was super fun. And then the, the next semester, I took another accounting course. I took the second part of econ, which is macroeconomics instead of micro. I took an HROB course, um, which was my favorite course that semester, taught by Thomas Sasso. If you can get a class with Sasso, do it 100%. He's the best. Um, it felt like going to yoga every morning because he was just so calming to listen to. We were learning a lot about like business psychology, things like that. I had five classes that semester, so I don't really remember what the other... Oh, I think there were two marketing courses marketing 1000 and marketing 2020 um i hate marketing <laughs> i don't find it very helpful i find it to be a lot of like the instructor is asking you a question that they already know the answer to and then you answer in a way that doesn't fit with their script that they have in their mind and then they have to backtrack and it's just it's just really annoying to be in a marketing class to me because i have like an innate art sense and so you know i I know how to make a good looking poster. <laughs> I'm pretty innately good at advertising. And so a lot of marketing is just a lot of words <laughs> to me. <laughs> so those are my least favorite, but a lot of people really do like marketing and they are pretty easy A courses. So, um, you know, you have to take them anyways. Why not try and enjoy them? <laughs> but that was my first year. I decided I was going to take some summer classes that, um, I think I took summer classes that summer. Can't actually remember now. Anyway, what I've done so far is I, I'm in my third year, but I've already done eight semesters because I've taken um, a summer semester and I'll be doing my eighth semester this coming summer. So that'll be my last semester at Guelph. Um, and I came into Guelph with credits from a previous institution. So, you know, I don't have to do any electives at Guelph. I only had to do major courses and restricted electives. If you look at the um, the course requirements page that I'm linking, um, you'll be able to see what I mean by restricted electives. That's something that's specific to the BCom major. I don't think any other majors have that, and it's just to make sure that you take a good foundation of business courses in a variety of fields. So when you get into your second year of the Management Economics and Finance program, you have to do something called declaring your emphasis. Um, and so when I was taking the when I was starting the, um, the major, you either could declare management or finance. And I originally declared finance, but I have since switched to management because um, finance, the people that declare finance are people that are going on to grad school. They need a lot more of that math background. They need a lot more of that analytical background that I don't really um, have the brain for, nor the desire to take. 
So I decided instead of pushing myself and getting some bad grades and that, even though I'm not even going to grad school, I would just take the easier route and do management. Although it is still very difficult in my opinion, um, I do have to work for my classes and work for my grades, but it's that's, <laughs> that's what university is about. If you don't think you're gonna work, then you are sorely mistaken. Um, but I think that now it might be split into different um, categories. I think that now Guelph offers like a government economics major and then uh, I don't really know anymore. I'm sure I'll link it below, but basically I'm pretty sure you still have to declare um, either finance or management and I would definitely recommend if you're not going to grad school or if you don't have the grades to go to grad school, you should probably do management you don't have to take things like advanced microeconomics which we would all fail it's one of the hardest courses at the university um, or advanced macro or the calculus too i think you have to take so yeah i took the easy route i would recommend the easy route because it is still difficult for me um, but if you're thinking about grad school there is that option as well where you get a better foundation and speaking of grad school <laughs> i get a lot of people in my comments asking me about grad school at Guelph, especially in the economics department. I unfortunately do not know anything about that. I'm not a master's student, I'm not a grad student, can't give you any guidance there, but hopefully you'll be able to reach out to the program counselors if you have any questions. I'm sure they're more than happy to help. And I would recommend that um, if anyone's watching this and they are a grad student at Guelph, I'm sure you'll get lots of views because I get lots of views from those people that are looking for info. Um, so start making some YouTube videos, start telling about your experience. And with that, I think I'll end this video. Uh, just a quick sum up, you know, it's been a lot of group projects for me. I've enjoyed a ton of my classes, although I do still have to work for my grades and I wouldn't change anything that I've done. Obviously I stayed in the management economics and finance major. I'm emphasizing in management, but you know, I think that a lot of the degrees here at Guelph are very similar <laughs> so if you don't like something about the degree look into changing it before you look into changing schools or changing completely out of you know commerce in general i know some people that have decided you know what business isn't for me i'm gonna go to science which i think is a little crazy but you can still do it um so if you have any more questions for me about this topic especially please put them down in the comments i answer all my comments um and I'll see you in the next video. Here's some other videos that I think you might like. Um, there's one about the things that I love about the University of Guelph, and maybe I'll link one about a day of going to lectures with me so that you can see what it's like being a student here at Guelph.